Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. I am Kumar Kavar Shekhawat and in this video, I will be discussing how to run autoregressive distributed lag model in eWeeds. First of all, the question is, why do we use autoregressive distributed lag or ARDL model? So ARDL model basically helps to disentangle long run estimates and short run estimates. So let's start with it. First of all, import your data file for which you want to run the regression model using ARDL. So first select all the concerned variables. So here CO2 is the dependent variable. So first select your dependent variable followed by all the independent variables. Once you have selected all the concerned variables, then open these variables as equation. Okay. So here you can see the first one is the dependent variable followed by all the independent variables and C here is for the constant. Now, in the methods section, select PMG ARDL polled mean group AR distributed lag model options. And once you have selected this, you can see the specification dialog box will open. So here in the specification, you need to mention the dependent and the independent variables. Afterwards, there is an option for automatic selection of legs and fixed lengths. So if you are aware regarding the lag selection, like what are the maximum lags for the dependent and regressors, you can proceed with fixed selection of legs. And if you are not aware of it, then you can proceed with automatic selection of lags. So here I go with automatic selection. Okay, if there is any dummy variable in your regression model, then you can include that variable by writing at the rate expense. Okay, and in the bracket, you can write the name of the dummy variable that you have used in your regression model. Since there is no dummy variable in my regression model, so I'll skip this part. Okay, afterwards, there is an option for trend specification. So here, there is the trend specification at constant level, linear trend and none. So if there is no a uh, linear trend or constant and you can proceed with none and if there is a trend in your regression model then you can proceed with linear trend okay moreover in the options section there are options available for the selection criteria that you can use for the estimation of your regression model. So here, there are three information criteria, a CAIC information criteria, squads criteria, and Helen Cole criteria. So uh, it depends upon your model specification for which particular selection criteria you want to proceed with. So I'll proceed with a CAIC info criteria in case of my regression model. And after selecting all these things and after entering the specification, you need to click on OK. All right. So as you can see, eViews will present you with the estimation results for both the long run and short run coefficients if you are running ARGL model. OK, so here you can see the method is auto regressive distributed lag. There are total 182 observations. The time period that has been taken into consideration is from 1994 to 2019. And squads criteria is being used. Okay. Now here in the upper section, you can see the long run equation estimation regression coefficients results are presented. Okay. So, how do we interpret the results of an ARDL model? See, 
In case of ARDL model, uh, we apply the thumb rule only. So if the probability value of a regression coefficient is on a variable is less than 5% level of significance, then in that case, that variable is significant, okay? And if the probability value is greater than 5% level of significance, then the variable is not significant. You can also apply the level of significance at 10% also, okay? Now, as you can see, in case of first independent variable, that is y, and the second one, y squared, the probability value is less than 5% level of significance. That is, it is less than 0 0.05. So this indicates that both these two independent variables are significant in the long run also. Okay. And, and you can interpret the variables based upon the coefficient value. So if the value is negative, it means that particular independent variable is affecting the dependent variable negatively. And if the coefficient value is positive, this means that that particular independent variable is affecting the dependent variable positively, okay? Then you can also report the standard errors of the variables and t statistics, right? Okay, so these are the results for the long-run estimation. ARDL also provides with short-run equations. So there are, these are the short-run equations as you can see. Okay, in similar way, you can interpret the results for your short-run equations. So this is how ARDL provides with long-run equation estimations and short-run equation estimations. Moreover, in case of ARTL model, you can also view the individual cross-section short-run coefficients, okay? So suppose there are seven cross-sections in your regression model. So you can estimate and interpret the results of each cross-section unit also, okay? So for that, you need to go to view, then cross-section short-run coefficients, Okay, so here you can see these are the results for individual cross-section short-run coefficients. Okay, so in my data set, there were total seven cross-section units. So you can see these are the results for these seven cross-section units. Okay, and you can jump to any one of these if you want to see the results for the fifth cross-section unit. So this is like uh, these were seven countries. So these are the results for these seven cross-section units, okay? So if we look at the first one, so this was the first cross-section unit and these are all the short-run independent equations that will be derived and the coefficient of each one of the equation, their standard errors, t statistics and the probability value. Okay, so probability value indicates that uh, if uh, the probability value is less than 5% level of significance, then this, this means that that particular variable is significant or is affecting the dependent variable in the short term. Okay, so this is how you can check the individual cross-section short term coefficients also for your cross-section units. So this is how ARGL model is run in eViews to estimate or disentangle the long-run estimates of your regression coefficients and short-run estimates of your regression coefficients. So I hope you like the video. Please click on the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I will be uploading the next video. Thanks for watching.